everyone. I'm going to uh, tell everyone a story about a Hebrew prophet. So once upon a time, there was a Hebrew prophet and he uh, was got uh, one day he was uh, going home. While he was going home, uh, a big light came upon him. He was surprised. Who is there? Who is there? He asked. Then uh, God said, uh, "Go." God said to him, go to Nineveh and tell the good news about uh, Jesus. And then, but uh, the Hebrew prophet said, uh, it is it is a very very wicked place how can i go there if i preach there then they will just kill me uh, he was uh, the, so scared but god said go to nineveh so that, that that's when he thought to just run away from there run away to a different place so uh, he went to uh, tarshish and then uh, while he was going Big heavy strong uh, storm came. Winds were blowing and like it was heavily raining and all the people, uh, the captain of the boat and everyone were like praying to, uh, to their gods, saying, "Calm the storm." And then um, they, uh, then Jonas woke up and said, "Oh, so God." Uh, is uh, telling me to go to Nineveh. So he immediately told the uh, uh, captain and everyone, uh, he, he told them, throw me off the boat. So uh, all the, uh, the captain and uh, all the crew members were like shocked. How could this man say, uh, throw me off the boat? So then, uh, he forced them, throw me off, to, uh, off the boat, and then uh, the uh, captain and the crew members throw, throw, uh, threw him off the boat. Then, just a few few minutes, big giant fish came underneath him. And then, it was coming and coming, and gobbled him up. And then, after that instant, he... Uh, uh, the Hebrew prophet woke up, woke up and then he, he kneeled down and for three days and nights he was praying to God. And then uh, God answered his prayer and uh, God listened to him. And then God said, God uh, sent the whale to just spit him out at uh, Nineveh. He was going to th Tarshish but God uh, took him to Nineveh. Then what happened? He went and went. He he, he uh, then went and uh, told the Nineveh people about God's good news. And then he told them that uh, God will destroy this place in just forty days. And everyone uh, was shocked and didn't believe him. After a few days. Of uh, just preaching and preaching, he, then every everyone believed, and then people people put on uh, sackcloths and then uh, praying to God, and then even the king also uh, that place uh, was also praying, and then uh, and then God in forty days didn't even destroy the city. So the moral of the story is, obey God and trust Him.